The Boston Consulting Group developed the Boston Matrix in the early 1970s. It is a tool for clarifying how resources are best spent on the company's products to achieve the highest revenue. A company must continuously look at how its business areas are doing. A business area is also called an SBU, which stands for the Strategic Business Unit, which is an area of products that have independent management and marketing. The model is a part of a portfolio analysis, which means analysing the company's products. The Boston Matrix is well suited to looking at how these business areas are doing in the company's overall product offering to see if some products need more marketing or whether there are product groups that should go out of the range. One of the assumptions in the model is that the position of the company's products changes over time in the market. The reason may be new consumers, new trends, new technology and changes in society in general. An SBU may consist of a product or product group. Nestle and Samsung have many SBUs. Both companies are spreading their SBUs across all fields of the model. There are also companies that have only one SBU. Startups often offer only one product and thereby only have one SBU. Let us now review the construction of the model. The Boston matrix consists of two dimensions. On the x-axis we find the relative market share and the y-axis is the market growth in percentage. Market share is an indicator of the extent to which the product can generate revenue. Relative market share measured as compared to the largest competitor in the business area. The axis is read from the centre of the figure, where 1 times is the same size. 1's business area has as much share as 1's biggest competitor. To the left from 1 times, one's relative market share grows relative to the largest competitor and two times means one has twice the market share of the biggest competitor. Correspondingly, we get less market share when we move right along the axis and 0.5 times means we have half the market share of our largest competitor. Therefore, the arrow on the x-axis goes from low on the right side to high on the left side, the opposite direction to what we would normally expect on the x-axis. Market growth on the y-axis refers to the market the company is in and growth is measured as a percentage with low in the bottom and rising to high in the direction of the vertical arrow. High market growth means that many consumers are demanding the product, making it an attractive market for the company to be in. The growth rate of an industry and the market share of a respective business relative to the largest competitor present in the industry are taken as the basis for classifications. For that reason, the BCG matrix is also called growth share matrix. The matrix is used by organisations to classify their business units or products into four different categories. The four categories are question marks, stars, cash cows and fourth and last dogs. The products or SBUs are placed in relation to their relative market share and the market growth rate in the industry in one of these four categories. The position of the company's product is marked with a circle. The size of the circle depends on how much revenue is in the business area in relation to the company's total revenue. The following review of the four fields indicates the typical process that a product or product group can go through in its lifetime. 
path that most companies are trying to achieve is question marks, stars, cash cows, ending with dogs. Question marks are products that are in a market with high growth, but with a low relative market share. Question marks are typically brand new products unknown to the market, where the company has to struggle to gain market share. It usually requires a lot of investment. They are known as problem children. They can be turned into stars or end up as dogs. Examples you can find down at the grocery store. Nestle is continually launching new products. Some become classics. Others quickly disappear again. The star is a product that is located in a high growth market and has a high relative market share. The promotion of the question mark was so successful that its market share has increased significantly and the product has thus become a star. It is expensive to maintain stars in their position in this market as it requires costly investment in sales and marketing. So, the star may not be a good business for the company in the short run, but it is essential to have stars that are incorporated as good brands with consumers so that they can eventually do without so much promotion. An example is Nescafe. In a lot of markets around the world, Nestle is promoting Nescafe as a brand. The brand has moved from question mark to star. The cash cow is a product that is characterised by having a relatively high market share in a market with low growth. It is a product that everyone knows and buys. It is a popular product. For the company, the cash cow is nice to have, as it quietly makes money without having to spend as much effort in sales and marketing when compared to products that are question marks and stars. However, growth opportunities are limited. An example is Coca-Cola, one of the best known brands in the world. A product in the dog field is in a market with low market growth and little relative market share. For example, it may be a cash cow that is no longer attractive to consumers. A dog is typically phased out of the portfolio as it is not profitable for the company. They are a drain on resources and cash. Examples are products like Walkman or DVDs. The lifetime of products in the electronics industry is, in general, very short. We shall now review an example of the use of the Boston Consulting Group matrix. We use products from Samsung. For the sake of clarity, only four products are used in the example. Samsung has many more in each category. We want to make a few observations before you review the model. It does not look the same in all markets in the world. Furthermore, the examples are taken from the electronics industry and here the products move very quickly between different fields. So, when you hear this, remember that the example is from 2019. The four products used as an example are Samsung Gaming Monitor Samsung Mobile Phone Samsung washing machines and Samsung smartwatch. The example in the question mark square is the Samsung gaming monitor. The market is growing rapidly, but Samsung's share of the market is low. AOC, Acer, Asus, MSI and BenQ are the leading brands within the industry. A lot of resources have to be spent on advertising and marketing to move the Samsung Gaming Monitor in the direction of a star. They may need to sponsor a gaming team or tournaments to reach that goal. Whether the Samsung Gaming Monitor moves towards becoming a star, or it ends up like a dog, only time will tell. 
The example in the stars field is the Samsung mobile phone, such as Samsung Galaxy. The phone has a high market share in a high growth industry. Samsung has its own base of loyal customers. To maintain its market share and ward off competition, Samsung regularly launches new smartphones with new features and designs. An example of a cash cow is a product from Samsung Home Appliances, Samsung Washing Machines. Samsung Washing Machines have a good market share in a stable market. They have become a household name and stand for quality and trust. They don't have to advertise a lot to hold this position. However, they must seek to adapt their washing machines to new market innovations such as energy saving and other new features. The example of a dog is the Samsung smartwatch. The product failed to achieve the success that it was expected to when launched as a question mark. Tough competition from competitors like Apple watches led to the failure of the product. Future investments are seen as a waste of company resources, which could be invested in the question mark or star categories instead. Depending on the industry you are a part of, the examples will be different from the four mentioned here. It is a living model, so the positions are continuously shifting. There are new players in the field with new products. It also happens that the market is changing radically and old products are coming back. You must continuously update your model to make optimal use of it. Let us now consider a criticism of the model. Many believe the Boston model is too simple because it focuses only on two factors, namely market growth and relative market share. Critics therefore believe that the model lacks some of the other essential elements such as market size, industry coverage, competitive strength, employee creativity and motivation. Another criticism of the model is that it does not include the product groups that have negative market growth. The latest criticism of the Boston model is about the risk of profitable products being harvested or phased out based on the use of the Boston model, so it can lead to wrong decisions. Although the Boston model has received some criticism, it still makes good sense to use the model if you know how to use it. The Boston model is a tool designed to force corporate management to analyze and decide which marketing strategies to use for each product.